What's up, Rockwall County? Aaron Clow here for your weekly housing market update. So it's the 5th of July. I hope you had a fantastic holiday weekend. Uh, I know from my trips back and forth across the lake and seeing friends and family that it looked like there was a ton of boats out on the harbor, a lot of people having fun, a ton of fireworks. I think Rockwall County may have spent its residents, I don't know how much the city spent, but spent probably a good amount of money on fireworks that were going off everywhere. So, uh, but let's talk about housing because it is hot just like the summer is and just what we're expecting for the rest of the summer. I uh, actually seeing more inventory hit the market, which is, I think we're right about 90 over the past seven days. Uh, just checking my numbers, 93 units that have hit the market up from the high eighties. So not a huge substantial thing, but uh, oddly enough, looking at the Dallas County numbers, Dallas County is actually down. And we look at that, probably accrediting that too. We lost Friday and we lost Monday of this week. Uh, but Rockwell actually up. So still uh, a good number of deals moving through the market and th moving through the deal funnel, if you will. So looking at closed and pending deals, about the same number as we've had over the past couple of weeks, which says things are steady. Uh, we have seen quite a bit of price decrease, uh, that about 68 units. And so uh, what that tells me is more of the same. And I think this will be the story of the summer. Uh, we always see that as tides change or markets change, there's about a three month lag before what people widely accept what those new market conditions are. Uh, and mostly because those that are, on, that are on the side of the market being more favorable, uh, which in this case sellers are, we're seeing price decreases, things selling um, not as fast, more higher days on market, but they're still remembering or reminiscing or hoping for what they were seeing five, six, eight, ten 10 months ago, uh, or not even that crazy, not that far ago, March, April, where we we're still seeing insanely short days on markets, well over asking price offers, no contingencies, uh, with the increase of, we talk about it every week, of inflation, of cost of living, of borrowing rates. Uh, all of those things are making buyers more choosy. And I think there's also some fear, uncertainty, and doubt of people buying into uh, the narrative or buying into the news or media saying that there is there has to be a crash that's coming. Uh, I can say that that is not from what we're seeing in the market and seeing in these in these counties that we work in, not what we're seeing in the slightest. So uh, what do we expect? More of the same. Like I said, I think that price decreases in market dynamics changing or what is going to be the tail of the summer. Uh, hopefully we continue to see more mark, more properties hit the market. I know builders are still going steady, releasing inventory, new home starts are up uh, in the area. Uh, but that being said, they also need to move those properties off their books. And so maybe if they've mispriced that or they're pricing it off of uh, maybe replacement costs and not comparable sales, we may see some decreases on the new home inventory, um, as well as just what we've seen in the existing inventory is people have priced it high, coming down, not a ton. I mean, we're talking in most cases, it's a couple of thousand dollars. And that's even from everything from a $300,000 house to a million dollar house. Uh, so not any crazy drop in pricing, just maybe price a little bit too high for what the things in the areas are saying. That being said, we're actually targeting those properties for our buyers right now because we believe there's a great opportunity for overpriced properties in neighborhoods. Uh, made another video about that wearing the same shirt. So got a lot, a lot of content done today. But Go down the feed, take a look at that. Um, actually, I don't know which one's gonna get posted first. So up or down the feed, um, but talking about our strategy of how we're helping buyers get more deals done. That's not just in Rockwall County. We're using that everywhere that our clients are looking and we have everything from Garland, Richardson, Plano, Frisco, Wiley, Saxe, all those areas, those suburb areas, even East Dallas, Lakewood, uh, Lockwood, those areas on that side of that lake, uh, we are working pretty actively in to get deals under contracts and win for our clients. So. Really exciting. I think over the next couple of weeks, it'll be telling as the Fed, next time the Fed meets or what they decide to do with rates may change dynamics a little bit more. Uh, it's also, there's a lot of so economic, social things that are going on on the outside that may be causing some fear and doubt in some buyers' minds. So uh, really excited. We are getting a lot of deals done. We're very, very thankful to our clients. We're thankful to our partners. And just want to throw this out there that if you are thinking about a transaction, so whether that's planning for a sale, you need to put plans in place to get your finances right to buy, uh, actually helping in a transaction, or maybe you just have a question. We are here to be a resource for you and your family and your company well before a transaction and well after a transaction. So we really value our clients as lifetime, lifetime clients. And so we're here to provide value wherever we can. So uh, for all things Rockwall Real Estate, Aaron Clow. Uh, Caldwell Banker, we would love to serve you. Uh, 
in any way that we can. So y'all be good. Y'all be blessed and have a great week.